Following forward on my talk about cycles, we're now going to be addressing the cycle of hatred versus the cycle of tolerance. Now, some might say cycle of hatred versus cycle of love, and this has been brought up a couple times already, but you don't have to love your fellow humans. You do have to tolerate them, though. And that's a quick point I want to bring up before moving on here. Now, being trapped in a cycle of hatred is easy. In fact, it's so easy that it traps much of the world right now. Just look around the world. Look at the news, right? All across the world, especially in the Middle East, but all across the world in various places, we have people hating each other and attacking each other, and killing each other, and discriminating, right? It's all over. People are trapped in this endless cycle of hatred because you hate me, and then I see you hate me, so I'm going to turn around and hate you back, right? Well, you hate me, and that engenders hatred in me as well. Then I hate you. Then I maybe I hate your friends, right? Because, well, they're with you and you hate me. They must be bastards, too. And then they're probably going to hate me and my friends. And then hatred propagates hatred. It grows and spreads like an infection, a cancer, if you will, where someone hating you or you hating someone engenders hatred in them. And hating someone makes it easier to hate others related to them, surrounding them, and even just touching them in some way. Oh, that guy, he talked to that person, seemed friendly. Well, I hate that guy. That guy must be a bastard, too. It's very easy to paint everybody related to the person you hate with that same dirty brush, right? Hatred grows and spreads. It's insidious. It's very addictive, too. It's easy to hate. You can just look at someone, oh, I hate them, and it almost feels good, doesn't it, to just sit there and let that raw emotion come out feels very good, in fact. It's seductive. It's easy to give into. But that's why it's a trap. That's why it's a cycle, right? Because it's easy to give into and it sustains itself so beautifully. Once you hate somebody, it's easy to see everything they do in the worst possible light, where everything they do, no matter how it actually is, somehow justifies your hatred. And then you never escape. You just spend your life hating. Now, the counterbalance to this is the cycle of tolerance where rather than hating another person because they wronged you or because they're different, you don't like them, perhaps. You don't have to like them. You just tolerate them for being human, right? We're all imperfect. We all have flaws. And maybe you don't even have to talk to that person ever again. Maybe you don't have to even like them. You stay far away from them. But they exist, and you have to respect that. Now, of course, this doesn't stand true with murderers and the usual caveat regarding that. If someone tries to kill you or something, all bets are off. You've got to defend yourself. However, just because they're different, just because they're an asshole, just because you think they're the worst person alive, as long as they haven't done anything actually wrong, you can tolerate them by at least going away from them, right? You don't have to give in to the vitriol of hatred. You can just walk away. You can disagree with them without hating them. You can dislike them. You can detest them, even. But that raw, unmitigated hatred, that is where the cycle begins. That's where the trap starts. That's where you lose your cognitive ability to see who they are and see the situation. You become biased. Your hatred fuels its own self. Your hatred desires to be sustained, if you will. And it will make it so that you see everything in a light where you can keep on hating. If you can at least tolerate, not even like, just tolerate and be willing to understand then we can all stop perhaps hating one another for reasons that end up with an unbiased look being stupid. And even if it is a legitimate reason to dislike someone, you can at least take a step back and say, I dislike them. I don't have to hate them. Just something to think about.